Hi, this is Ed again, the uh, support manager here at HPXL, and this is the final of our Contracts Expert technical videos. We're going to have a quick look through the publishing screen and just have a look at a few of the options uh, in there. So, what we're going to do is from our main menu, we're going to choose a uh, contract that we've already uh, created. So, I'm going to use my House 2 contract here. I'm just going to click on that, jump straight into our main section. So, what we've got in here are these are all the tabs from the contract wizard that you went through, and if you don't need to subcontract one, you get the same sort of uh, one, but with the subcontract options. So you can go through all your sections and review things, change them, etc. So this is all fairly straightforward. Okay. Kind of already good at this in the wizard. Uh, and then you've got some options at the top up here for various things you can do. Okay. You can hit this button verified fields and that will flag up everywhere in the contract where it thinks it's got things that you need to tweak. So it will say, aha, all these things here need fine tuning. So you can go through and collect all those. So it's a a handy option. We put it at the top and we put it down at the bottom as well. Okay. You can preview the contract. Okay. See what it's going to look like. Okay. And from here you can hit the publish button, which will actually create your PDF. Okay. And then we've got various options here for publishing it. This is the publishing menu here. If you go to this option here and hit publish, it will actually publish the contract in its entirety. Top to bottom, okay. Uh, this button here will publish just the change of works. Now, when you publish the contract in its entirety, it actually includes all the optional documents as well, but you may wish to publish more separately. So you've got the option to do that. So you can publish a change of works document. Like that. You can publish a cancellation form. Probably don't want to, but you can. Okay, so this is the uh, for the client's notice of uh, right to cancellation. This is the notice of their rights to cancel. Okay, again, these are all these are all components of the main contract, but sometimes people like to um, print these out separately, just so you can show them to the customer. So often it's quite it's quite nice to say to the customer, I'm very confident about my business, and you know, here are here are all the documents, just to put your mind at ease. You've got all this information here. Okay, and of course a very nice one which you want is the start work now document. Okay. Okay. So um, in case you're not aware, uh, it's. It's UK contract law now that um, for a construction job, if you uh, enter into contract, the client has a 14 day cooling off period. Okay. Um, so if the client wants you to start work within 14 days of the date of the contract, they have to put it in writing that they wish to waiver their 14 day cooling off period for you to start work um, immediately. Okay. So that's what this document is about. Again, as before with the other documents, it is actually included in the main contract, but it's nice to have it separate if you want to show it. Okay, other options to have in here, we have our main address book. Okay, so you can go in and have a look at various people, you can add people in, you can import people from your um, ad uh, Outlook uh, address book. You can also synchronize people in if you've got Contracts Expert 2 already, you can import contacts into this version. Okay, and then there's a few other little options we have up here on the top menu if you go to file. Okay, uh, the main one that probably excited about is you'll want to have your company logo. So you can click on your company logo button. Now I've uh, borrowed one of our clients' ones here. You can do choose logo and go to a picture and choose another logo of your choice. I have this guitar here as my logo. It's not a very good one, but just to give you an example. Okay. You've also got options to close, save, and save as if you want to give it a different name. Okay. You've got a save button at the top. If you save as you're going. And if you're in here and you think, I just want to jump straight to a new contract, you can hit this button up here, jump to a new contract. It will always prompt you if you want to save. So you say yes. And you go it's straight into new contract wizard. Okay. So I'm going to cancel on that. And there we go. So fairly straightforward. Review what you're going to do, review what you've already done. Once you're happy with it, either publish the contract in its entirety or subsections of the contract. And that's it. Thanks very much.